Good evening, everyone. This is Michael Robbins, broadcasting here from the Temple of Silence in Luoma, Finland. And I'm substituting for my wife, Tuya Robbins, who usually does these programs. Uh, these programs are the Ask Project. The process is one of invocation. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. So our purpose is during five days of the week to invoke those particular energies which will assist humanity in this difficult time to make the proper transition into the new age and to prepare the hearts and minds of humanity for the externalization of the hierarchy and the reappearance of the Christ. Today's work is with preparation for the reappearance of the Christ. I'm going to go back a few slides to focus on what DK tells us we should think about when preparing for this meditation. He says it is, uh, well first of all he says have a notebook and pen handy. Well those were in the old days so maybe you'll have your little tablet handy or your computer or even your cell phone, smartphone where you can type certain ideas that may come to you. Anyway, these are his suggestions. It is suggested that you do this meditation once every week, each Thursday. You know, now that's a, a second ray day. That is Jupiter Day, or Thor, Thor's Day, uh, each Thursday in the place of your usual meditation. Endeavor to assume an attitude of aspiration, devotion, prayer, and fixed intention. In this order, aspiration, devotion, prayer, and fixed intention, prior to following the outline. Esoteric students need the heart approach as well as the mental approach in order to make this meditation the powerful instrument which it can be. Between Thursdays, endeavor to carry out the results of the reflection expressed in this meditation. Lay practical plans and then review each week the planned activities when you sit down to do this meditation in the light of your expressed intention. Make this meditation brief and dynamic. Maybe when you do it yourself, you'll make it more brief and dynamic than we will when we're doing it with the group. Make this meditation brief and dynamic. After doing it a few times, this should be easily possible. Forget the various stages and be impelled by the sequence and the uh, synthesis of the form. So we will, without further ado, begin our work. All of this, you know, given to us by Master DK, especially in the book Discipleship in the New Age, Volume 2, which is really a training manual for initiation, at least the kind of initiation that we can uh, attempt in our particular ring pass knot. So we begin by saying that after achieving a positive and intended personality quietness, we formulate clearly to ourselves and in our own words the answer to the following questions. So in the light of your own soul and aligned with the group that may be working here now or maybe working every Thursday with this meditation, the timing doesn't make so much difference, we ask the following question. 
As a member of the new group of world servers, what is my specific fixed intention at this moment of dedicated contact with my soul? Is my concentrated and expressed personality purpose in line with hierarchical intention as far as I am permitted to know it? And then the question, have I, in my own personal daily life, earned the right, because of definite effort and not so much because of success, to stand with those servers who are now undertaking the work of preparation? Preparation for the externalization and the reappearance. Have I earned the right? This is the one time the Tibetan tells us, one time in the meditation, where we think of ourselves. And it is here because it is a method of personality-focused attention, and it aligns our personality upon the mental plane. we are cognizant of this glowing network of triangles which is making possible 
the influence of the soul in all human thought. The Christ represents the Trinity. He is the point within the triangle. And every time we work with the triangles, we are creating a pathway for he, for him, and for his hierarchy to come closer to the earth. So love is flowing, goodwill is flowing, and the will to good is flowing. And now we will offer the dedication, which is so important. Once you've memorize this dedication at some point in your life. It's very hard to leave it behind. It's so demanding, so important, so committing. It could be sounded every day in less than a minute. And here it is. And for those of you who speak the Finnish language, it's underneath. You can see it. Forgetting the things which lie behind, I will strive <clears throat> toward my higher spiritual possibilities. I dedicate myself anew to the service of the coming one and will do all I can to prepare men's minds and hearts for that event. I have no other life intention. assure you that if we use this mantra frequently and with true heartfelt willful intent it will create a tremendous change in our lives now we move on to the next Next phase, that wonderful picture of the, the Christ over Rio. What a blessing it is. So now we consider the following. We visualize the world situation as best we can and in terms of our major world interest and with what knowledge of world affairs we may possess.
We see the mass of men everywhere glowing with a dim light. And here and there, points of brighter light where the members of the new group of world servers and men and women of spiritual intention and of loving hearts are working for their fellow human beings. through the creative imagination, the vivid light of hierarchy streaming towards humanity and slowly merging with the light which is already in the human family. Slowly merging hierarchical light, increasing the light of the mass of human beings and also of the new group of world servers, all light increased through the light of hierarchy. say together the first stanza of the great invocation, visualizing all the time the hierarchical light, increasing the light of humanity. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men, let light descend on earth.
reflect and speculate upon the possible results of his reappearance. Then we say the second stanza of the invocation. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. Then we endeavor to concentrate our fixed intention to serve and to spread love in our surroundings, realizing that insofar as we are able to do this, we are attempting to blend our little personal will with the divine will.
then we say together the third stanza of the great invocation from the center where the will of God is known let purpose guide the little wills of men the purpose which the masters know and serve Then we consider practically what we can do in the coming week to further the preparations for the coming of the Christ and his hierarchy. Now, we sound the Om three times, dedicating the threefold personality to the work of preparation. It is the Lord Maitreya with whom we seek to cooperate and we sound this mantra expressing our will to cooperate with his intended reappearance in every way we can. 
we have gathered in your name, Lord Maitreya, be with us. you of our schedule. Tomorrow will be the uh, Friday webinar. It's on a fifth ray day, Venus day. The fifth ray is so important in the technique of light when we work on the dissipation of glamour. We're working right now on the dissipation of individual glamour, which certainly will help the group and world glamour, but soon we'll also work in the larger world area. And then on uh, Saturday at 5 p.m. GMT, Universal Time, we continue with our invocation of the soul of nations. Every Saturday we do that. And then uh, we're going to the Middle East this time, United Arab Emirates. And then on Sunday also, 5 p.m. GMT, we will be working on the invocation of money on the golden flow for spiritual purposes. We thank you very much for joining us during these presentations. We can work inwardly, subjectively in a way that really is helpful to humanity, even though, you know, on the outer plane, Nobody may realize the cause of the help, just the way we receive fantastic help from the spiritual hierarchy through their meditative processes. And the gift waves come towards us and we just imagine somehow that we are inspired when in fact it has been the inner work of the great, uh, great white brotherhood which has made that possible. And so we will close our meditation with the uh, mantra in this, at the center of all love, I stand.